my channel already, in the description of this video, I will link a video to a whelk catching hook it's called, but that is the northern whelk catching hook for that one. And a northern whelk is more or less like you're tight there, you're going to be on the side of a, a rock and seaweed. Now these right here are the ones that are in the flats, the mud flats, where the clamors dig or a wormer, blood wormer. I'm a blood wormer, so I find these all the time. And I never thought about ever eating them, but I've tried periwinkles and whelks, and they both have that similarity to like a clam or something, but it's not as like a seafoody flavor. It's it's almost like a, a white fish of the snail family. Um, compared to like a salmon where it has so much flavor the white fish doesn't have very much fishy or any really flavor you can put anything you want with a white fish and it will taste like what you put with it uh, you have to be careful with the salmon then but that trout is my favorite uh, brook trout is my favorite fish that um, comes from freshwater and haddock is my favorite saltwater fish but these are probably going to be like, maybe have more flavor, I'm not sure yet, of the whelk. Because they're in the same family, but they, they just might be just as good or maybe have more flavor. So, what you need to do this catch and cook is some butter. I have Amish butter. Um... It's organic and I think it tastes 10 times better than regular butter and it's healthier. And then this is just some minced garlic. You can use fresh, it's probably better to use fresh, but I do like this because it, it just has like a f sweeter flavor, I think, than fresh. Like it's not as like a pungent. This is like a lot uh, lighter flavor. Good for this. And it's easier to cook with this. So, I actually have been soaking these overnight. You probably saw already at the beginning of this video of me collecting these. I was using my little SJ4000 and pretty much it just shows where you pick them up. But what I did, and I didn't show it on videos, that you just take some salt water and then you place them in there and let them soak overnight. Similar to how you do maybe a mussel or clam. And then... Now I'm just going to take the same water that they're in and I'm going to cook them in here in the pot so I don't have to have like, I don't really want fresh water touching it because um, it does mess up the texture of any seafood. If you do, if you have anything from the fresh water, it doesn't matter, you just use sink water if you really want it. So I'm just going to put the water in first. Once that heats up, I'll put those in. I'll be back. Alright, All right, guys, it's boiling. There we go. Shouldn't take too long. Now, once that's done, um, I'll put them in the butter sauce. Now, I'm just going to let that cook. What you need is the butter, right now. I like to put it on medium. Well, not that many. So. Because there's six in there, uh, that's about a tablespoon or so of butter. Then maybe it's to taste you 
show you is how much garlic I'm going to put that much of the this teaspoon of half a teaspoon I mean of the chunks and stuff and then probably another half a teaspoon of the liquid so you have about a tablespoon of garlic uh, I mean a teaspoon of garlic and a tablespoon of butter so I'm going to let that do its thing and then we have to do the process of pulling all the meat out of this and taking the little pieces off of it um, because they have this little tiny flap, all snails have them, is you have to cut that part off, take the guts off, and you get this little piece of meat. You can eat the guts, but I'm not the fan of them, so. You need a knife. And a skewer. doing with this is not fully cooking them. You're going to fully cook the meat in here. Uh, but in here it's just pretty much, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's, it's like you, you just instantly, they're just dead. It's quick. It's not painful to them. It's just instant. Um, they do this with lobsters here in Maine. So I think they even do it with crayfish or something in the south. But all you do is you can throw them in, instant. They, they don't change color, so you have to watch out for that. done. So I'm going to let those cool. This is pretty much melted up. I'm going to pull this off. Alright guys, now the next step after taking them off the heat is to break them open. So I have my hatchet. There you go. That's all I need to do. Now, I'm just going to do that with the rest of them, and I'll see you when I get back. Okay, guys. Now, after hitting it with the hammer, we want to just slowly pick the meat out. I'll be back once I'm done with this. Okay guys, there's the meat. Alright, I have the stove on, about medium. And yes, I'll pick the meat out of all the garlic. The meat is about the size of the garlic, so you just have to pick throughout um, the snail and stuff. Yes, you could eat the whole thing. I would recommend taking that little hard piece off the front. It's called the foot. Um, most snails all have those. 
So I recommend taking that, but you could eat the guts if you want to. Like, I'm not. It's like a clam or something. I don't like um, eating the stomach of a clam, but I don't mind the muscle. Uh, like a blue muscle or something, I'll eat the whole thing. But a clam, I will only eat a little piece that comes around the outside where like the mouth opens and closes like this and then the neck the neck is my favorite piece like most people think that's probably the best piece Alright, I think it's done. Right in there. Right there. So, I'm going to pick them out and get to the taste test. There's one right there. A lot of work for that, but not bad. Get get a couple more. Tastes like just that um, really tough part on the neck of a clam. Just that top part. That's what they taste like. So snails and clams are pretty similar flavor. So like. If you want to try those, I would recommend the uh, northern one versus the eastern because they get like bigger, like, like that big. I think it was four inches in length, the northern um, whelk gets. But th these are the mud ones, they only get like. I think a half an inch or something, they really don't get very big. How big you saw is how big they are. So, 